fellow humans and welcome to this video and today we're going to look at the M60 and the M48 pattern. Now, they look quite similar from the beginning already and uh, are they similar though? Yes they are. So, let's go through how these works, how they compare and then let's play them. Obviously you take the standard consumables, the standard provision and you just load up the ammo. And I'm using calibrated on both of them because Warburg Gaming apparently thinks that mediums shouldn't have penetration and make the game boring. But anyway, um, you can also uh, use a gun rammer, but I do prefer to uh, use the calibrated here just to have that heat pen uh, to be able to penetrate uh, E100 and stuff like that from the front, which can be very useful in a tank like this. So, let's go to Blitzstar and let's see how these two actually compare. So, and here we are. And now you can already see that the M60 has slightly better DPM, um, while the M48 pattern has better aim time and better dispersion on the move. While the M60 has slightly better dispersion and also better gun depression right here. So that's not that much of a difference right here. Now the powder weight ratio is better on the M48 pattern, which is weird because in World of Tanks PC it's the other way around. Um, but in this game, um, the M60 has worse powder weight ratio, which means it has worse uh, effective hot power button, but it does have slightly better ground resistance, so the mobility is kind of ex the same. Mobility is just the same because the ground resistance basically makes up for the power weight ratio right here. And uh, then what we got down here, obviously the M60 is not a premium tank, so you're not going to make any premium credits from it. And that's probably why they give it away for free, because it was just pointless. Um, however, the repairs are slightly cheaper, and it has a little bit more health. Now, the armor, um, the turret armor is the same, it has the same armor on the turret, but the hull armor is a lot weaker on the M60 compared to the M48 pattern. So, all in all, they're very, very similar vehicles, and there's nothing really defining that separates them. So, let's play both of them and start off with the M48 pattern, the non premium version. Well, the M60 isn't a premium either because the, it doesn't give you premium credits. But then again, somehow the VK90, which is a collector, gives you premium credits, but the premium M60 doesn't give you premium credits. That's weird. I don't get that. Board gaming, explain now. Or if you know why that is a thing, then just put it in the comments. And if you have nothing else to say, just put that also in the comments, because that's what they're for. And I'm being recognized by everyone. Not. Okay. I'm gonna try and go into what the middle of And the M48, as you can see, is very, very big. Which means it's very easy to see. Which means it's also very easy to hit, because if you hit anywhere in the hull, it's gonna go through. The side armor is quite weak, and the front armor is decent, like, if they hit the upper plate, uh, they, they might bounce, but all in all, it's not really gonna be very, very f interesting. Here, okay, Sheridan. That is a very competent Sheridan player, as you can see, he is sitting out in the open, with a broken gun, showing me his ass, which is, nah, just not that interesting. Okay, now, as you can see right there, it has very, very good accuracy, um, so you can reliably hit people. Okay, we, we now do know that uh, they are up there. Okay, let's try and use the 9 degrees of gun pressure of this tank to not penetrate the T-57 Heavy. That is epic right there. Okay, and we shoot 704. Hello? What? Okay. And bounced. Keep moving so they don't hit me because obviously if I move it's a lot harder for them to hit you because that's how pro gamers play. Okay, the Sheridan's coming. That's not good. Why are you? Sh that's the prime example of an idiot Sheridan player. He shot a rocket at the distance of like three meters for no reason, bruh. Anyway, okay, those two are still sitting up there now. Try and shoot the 57. Okay then. Okay then, we're gaming. We, we're doing that now. Oh, 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 and the Sheridan's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Death to the Sheridan scrubs. Okay, the 704 bounced off me. Pretty good turret, so. You don't really have to worry about anything like that. That's a BL 10 with 186 millimeters of penetration. Um, so you don't really have to worry. But too much uh, getting penned in the third. However, you do have a cupola on top, which 
pretty much everyone that knows how to aim can penetrate. Okay, the 57 now moved over here. And he's not hiding. 704, there we go. And he was shooting HE. Not bad. We do have a competent 26. What did I have? 268. The 704 driver. Mostly it's the 268s that are good because the 704 is just shit. But anyway, um. But welcome to the art of doing a video in one take. Anyway, um, where do we go? No, a 57 drop down. Hard. Now he's trying to get up, which means I can shoot him again. That's perfect. Keep a position. If you can keep a position like this in the M48 or the M60, then you're gonna do quite well. I'm hold down. And I have shots. I can use the accuracy. I can use all that kind of stuff to do quite well. You don't really want to have this thing on the front line because, as I said, is big. It doesn't have a lot of armor. It is one of the worst mediums, like a STB1, a E50M, a uh, T62A, even a or a T22 if you want. Um, is just way more uh, capable of doing the roles in the game. Obviously, the the T22 and stuff don't have the gun depression, but the STB has, and the STB has a better turret. And no Copolin is also faster. It has the same DPM. So, I would definitely pick the STB-1 over these two vehicles. And out of these two vehicles, I would definitely pick the M60. Because as you may have seen earlier, I'm not only the number one for the Hall of Fame in this vehicle, but I also got it for free. Which is nice. Alright, let's go. Now, one thing that you can immediately see with the M60 also is that the back, the engine is a lot bigger. But that doesn't mean that it's faster. Because it's not. Both have roughly the same mobility. And the same gun. And the same armor, so it's kind of the same tank. Okay, our team seems to be half retarded, half competent. The 50B and the 5100 are going into the city, which is quite bad. I don't know why you would do that. But anyway, some people don't like to win. If you don't want to win, then you should also check out my How to Lose video, because that's how it works now. Anyway, uh, where do we go? 40, perfect. Nice accuracy on the tank, which means you can get in shots like that. I think he's behind the rock now, is he? Okay. Um, the 22 is mad at me. But he should be mad at himself for playing that tank, to be honest. No respect for rocket players, okay? No respect for rocket players. Okay, there he is. and he didn't penetrate me that is perfect at the rs8 someone did penetrate me welcome to world of tanks blitz where that happens play this yes, can okay let's see what the 50b is about to do maybe maybe he's gonna be useful and actually flank them but i do doubt that about uh him just sit in there that's just sitting there Jesus. okay wait a minute hmm E3 is now trying to push forward here. That is not that good, I guess. And now we have nothing to shoot at. But I can't push here because the E3 is there. I can't push there because there's three people watching it. Ah, hello there, Emil. Thank you for volunteering yourself for free damage. And track shot. Always get tracks if you can because you can just lock him down. More people can shoot at him. And you can get more assist damage, which is nice. Okay, that's the, that's definitely the bleed. I'm just shooting into my turret right there. I'll try and move back a little. But that's the problem. Let's use the T92 as a sort of cover here. 2k damage blocked. That is pretty good for a 80 10 mediums ready. Just Leon. Just shoot here. Maybe he's there. Oh. Okay, that MX-50B died, the other MX-50B is somehow not losing that fight. Okay, he's probably gonna lose. Um, anyway. Okay, we can't really move out of here because the big problem there is the 50B. Okay, the 50B moved. Okay, let's turn. Let's turn away. Quickly get out. Hopefully not get shot. There's the VK-172. Turkey's... Nah, it doesn't have a gunner. 
And let's load the heat and not penetrate his lower plate. It's balanced. Come on, 50B. You have two shots. Just get him. Jesus. Okay, our T92 is dead. That wasn't too. That was expected because, well, rocket player. Du -du -du -du. Okay, the VK is finally dead. And now the IS 8 is pushing me. I think he is. Yes, he is. He just got hit. But the thing is, unless that 50B does help me out quickly, I can't really contest this guy. Because he just has too many, too many HPs. Never mind, I think I can contest him. Depends on the DPM. Come on, Kronvang, put one in. Okay, I should be able to just help out the Kronvang against that guy real quick. And now let's go backwards behind this. Eat the shot from the IS-8, bounce off him. That didn't work out too well. 50B, where are you? No, you can't shoot him. Fuck. This one's lost. That is it. I did try what I could. That's 4k damage. But that's it. Well, and the 50B is obviously alive, and, uh, yeah. Don't be that AMX 50B. And don't be that guy that doesn't like videos that he watched till the end, okay? Don't be that guy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, which one's the better? Neither. They're the same tank. And with that horrible disappointment, bye.